so today we are going to be making chocolate banana pancakes. I hope you enjoy the recipe and I'll see you on the other side. Alright, so firstly we're going to go in with half a cup of oats. You can use rolled oats or quick oats, whatever you like, but then we are going to blend that up so it turns into more of a flour consistency. So we just blend that up for a few seconds to get it to a fine consistency. It doesn't have to be as fine as a powder, like you don't have to strain it through a sieve or anything, but just blending it up so it makes the pancakes fluffier. So then we're going in with two teaspoons of cocoa powder, one teaspoon of hemp seeds, a half to three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, as well as two teaspoons of protein powder and two teaspoons of buckwheat flour. So if you don't have buckwheat flour, you can always use another type of flour or just a little bit more oats. And if you don't have protein powder, you could probably put in a bit more hemp seeds or just leave it out. So then we go in with half a banana and we are saving the rest for later to cook into the pancakes. And then we have half a cup of plant milk. So here I'm using this chocolate oatly milk, which tastes delicious. If you haven't had it before, I highly recommend you going and buying it just for a try. Um, but if you don't feel like that milk, or if you don't want any added sugar, because it does have a bit of added sugar in it, um, you can just go with a regular unsweetened plant milk of your choice. I've tried this with almond milk, it works fine. Um, I just personally prefer the taste of this one as a bit of a treat. I don't have this every day, so I thought I would use the yummy chocolate oat milk. So you just blend that up for a bit until it's completely combined together. So I'm having a look at the texture here and it's a bit thick for my liking um, because that can cause the pancakes to not cook fully if it's too thick. So I just went in with a quarter of a cup or just under a quarter of a cup of water just to make the consistency a bit thinner so they're easier to cook. So again, you just blend that up. And as you can see now, the consistency is nice and runny and that is perfect because it will actually thicken up a little bit as it's sitting waiting to be cooked. So now I'm chopping up the rest of the banana and you just thinly slice that. The thinner the better really because you want it to fit into the pancake. All right, so now it's time to cook the pancakes. I'm sure you guys know how to cook pancakes but I guess this is a little bit different because we are putting the banana into it. So as you see, I am putting three pancakes into my large nonstick pan. If you don't have a non-stick pan, you'll probably have to use a spray of oil or grease it somehow. But I have a non-stick pan, so I don't need any oil. So once I've put them in there, I just place a slice of banana on each pancake. And then I use a little spoon to cover up the banana so that when I flip it, it cooks on the other side and doesn't get stuck to the pan or anything. So once the holes have formed, you are ready to flip. And then I'll just continue this with another batch of three pancakes. So if you're wondering about the nutrient profile of these pancakes, I will put that in the description below along with the exact ingredients. These pancakes are quite high in protein with just under 20 grams of protein per serve and are filled with great things like hemp seeds, which are high in omega-3s and oats which are a great source of complex carbohydrates which will keep you full until lunchtime so really this is a great meal for breakfast it's delicious a bit of a treat but at the same time has a lot of healthy things in there so yeah it's a really great option so now that the stack of pancakes is all ready i'm going to go on to preparing the raspberry coolie this is actually so simple all you do is get some frozen raspberries or you can use fresh if you have them um, but frozen raspberries are super easy to keep in the freezer. So I got about a third to half a cup of frozen raspberries and just put them in the microwave for one minute on high. And that's all you need to do. You don't need to add any sugar, any sweetener at all, just that. 
Then you simply pour it over your stack of pancakes and I added a couple of leftover slices of banana on the top as well. So, now for the moment of truth, cutting through the stack. And voila. Oh, it seriously looks so good. I'm recording this voice memo now and I'm like, oh, I just wanna make some more pancakes. So as you can see, that banana has cooked through the center and brings out this beautiful line of banana in the middle, which just looks so good and tastes amazing. So there you have it, delicious chocolate banana pancakes with a raspberry coolie on top that is so easy to make, tastes delicious. And this is probably the fourth time I've made it because I just love it so much. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. See you soon, bye.